Hello everyone, it's Lois Avelina with Easy as Pie Stamping. Today I'm excited to share with you my September 2018 paper pumpkin kit, Brights and Delights. These are my first alternative projects, aren't they cute? Stay tuned for the instructions on how to make them. weekly videos on rubber stamping projects, techniques, and tips. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This paper pumpkin kit is so stinking cute. I just love this September paper pumpkin kit and you will too. Watch the entire video so you get the instructions on how to make these cute treat boxes and some other surprises too. I'm talking about free. Hey, I just received my September paper pumpkin in the mail and I am super excited to share it with you. It's called Frights and Delights, um, which makes me think it's going to be Halloween. So first we have a um, flyer for our new tool. It's called Take Your Pick. Um, I'm really excited about this tool. Um, I've already received it and I've been trying it out and I can't wait to make a video to show you how to use this tool. It's going to be super helpful in all your paper crafting projects. So here's the instruction sheet and as you can see we have three different treat bags. We have the spooky, the boo, and the eek. And we have a jack-o'-lantern, a bat, and a ghost. And there are eight of each kind so that's 24 treat bags in this kit. So are you ready to see what we have in here? Okay, here's the stamp set. It's called Brights and Delights. It's a photopolymer stamp set and it's got some great words. We have the spooky, the boo, and the eek. So that coordinates with the other images um, from the kit. And there's a jack-o'-lantern and a moon and a couple of bats and a couple of stars and a couple of spiders. And then we have Frights and Delights. It's Halloween, treats for you, and a to and a from. So that's a really great versatile stamp set for Halloween. Next we have the 24 cellophane treat bags and these are the bottoms for the treat bags. And let me show you the different patterns we have. We have one with spiders and one with a fun stripe pattern and one with spider webs. So those are really fun. And then of course we have your dimensionals and your glue dots. And we have the basic gray Stampin' Spot and some black baker's twine with silver thread. And then we have the treat bag toppers. So in Gorgeous Grape, we have eight of these. And then the Mango Melody, we have eight of this style. And then also eight of this style of Mango Melody. And then we have our die cut bats, our laser cut ghosts, laser cut jack-o'-lanterns. These silver foil pieces go behind the jack-o'-lanterns and the eyes of the ghost. And then we have in the silver foil boo and in gorgeous grape we have eek and we have spooky. So this kit looks really fun and I can't wait to make some alternative projects to share with you. Visit my blog to download two Halloween project PDFs that I created at my hostess club this month. The link is below. This is the color palette for the September Paper Pumpkin Kit Frights and Delights. We have basic black and basic gray Gorgeous Grape and Pumpkin Pie and Mango Melody. These are the supplies you'll need to make this alternative project. You'll need a half sheet of Whisper White cardstock, a strip of Gorgeous Grape cardstock, 
a cellophane treat bag with spiders, a tag topper with the gorgeous grape outline, a die cut pumpkin with the silver foil backing, the word eek from the sticker sheet, the basic gray stampin' spot, the photopolymer stamp, it's Halloween, the black twine with silver thread, and your adhesive, the glue dots, the dimensionals, and tear and tape. I would love for you to join me each month as we create pretty projects with our paper pumpkin kits. If you would like to join my paper pumpkin club, click on the link in the description below to be taken to my paper pumpkin store. Let me show you how to make the box. We're going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is 5 inches by 8 and a half inches. And then we're going to score it vertically at 3 and a half inches and 1 and a half inches. Then we're going to turn the paper and score it at 6 and 3 quarter inches and 2 inches. Then we're going to use our paper snips and we're going to cut from this score line up to this score line and on this score line up to here. Okay, then we're going to fold on all the score lines. Okay, I've folded on all the score lines and now we're going to tape the box together. I'm going to use tear and tape. Um, this is a super sticky double-sided tape and it's really great for taping together three-dimensional projects. So I'm just going to tear off um, approximately one and a half inch strips of the tear and tape and I'm going to put it on two pieces on this side and then two pieces on this side. Okay, so now we have tape on all four corner flaps. Then I'm just going to rub them down really good so that they're stuck to the paper really well. And then use my paper snips to just pull the liner off. And it comes off really easily if you just work it in to the center, um, working it in like that. So I'm going to stick this side to here, and this, like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, now our box is taped together, and then I'm just going to trim off the excess here with my paper snips. And there we have our completed box. Now we want to take the bottom off of the cellophane treat bag and I'm just going to use my paper snips to cut along right along where this is um, sealed. So now my bag is open on both ends. The next step is to take a one and a half inch by four inch piece of gorgeous grape cardstock and score it at 3 8 inch and 2 inches. And then take the tag topper that is outlined with the gorgeous grape and score it at 3 8 inch and 2 inches. Then we're going to adhere the pumpkin to the silver foil backing with glue dots. So I'm just going to turn this over and put a few glue dots strategically. One up here and one down here and one right here and as you can see I'm using my new take your pick tool it has a little pointy end it's really great for picking up the um, little glue dots um, and then it's also good for taking the little liners off okay. and then I'm going to adhere this to the silver foil just make sure that the 
three bumps are on the bottom and the one dip is at the top. And I think I'm going to do it like this. Okay, now we have our pumpkin. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is adhere the pumpkin and eek to the tag topper and I'm going to stamp It's Halloween in basic gray. I have a little tip for you regarding the stamping spots. When I get my new ones, I take a blade and cut along right here um, through the little um, sticker and then I don't cut along the back side. This way it hinges and then um, it makes it easier to handle. So I'm going to adhere the pumpkin onto the tag first and I'm just going to use a few more dot glue dots. I just need two along the bottom like that. And then I'm going to take the eek and stick it here along the bottom. And then I'm going to stamp It's Halloween. And I'm just going to put this right here in an angle. Give it a good press. And there I have this finished. The next thing I want to do is tape the tag topper and the gorgeous grape strip together to make a belly band. So I'm going to use my tear and tape again. And it's going to go together like that. So I'm going to put a piece of tape here. And a piece of tape right here. Take off the backing and tape these together. So it's going to go like this. Okay, I want to add one more finishing touch to my belly band. I'm going to take a 9 inch piece of the baker's twine and tie a bow around the stem of the pumpkin. Um, and first I'm going to put a glue dot on here um, to help hold the twine in place. Okay, so now our belly band is complete. Um, so here's the box that we made with the cellophane wrapper on it and it's just a little bit looser than I would like and that partly is because when I was creating the box I wanted to round the measurements to not smaller than one quarter of an inch. So it's a little bit loose so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it over and pinch this corner and we're going to fold it over and I'm going to put some glue dots along here to hold it down. Don't pull it too tight because you still want it to be able to slide back and forth. So just a little bit. And now the cellophane wrapper isn't too loose and it still slides back and forth. And then the belly band goes on like this. And then there's our completed project. So I went ahead and made treat boxes with the other cellophane bags, the spider webs and the orange stripe, and used a bat and a ghost, and I think they turned out super cute. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Now you know exactly what to do to create these cute treat boxes. The free PDF download is below. I still have a lot of supplies left in my kit. So be watching for my videos and blog posts with more projects. If you would like to join a community of crafters just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date products, tips, and techniques to keep your projects fresh. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Leave me a comment below telling me who you will surprise with a Halloween treat.